In this video we are going on a six hour bus ride from Kuala Lumpur to Singapore but it's not going to be a regular bus journey. It's one of the most luxurious buses I've ever seen. It's going to be more like a first class flight experience so I'm very excited. Will it be a comfortable ride and will it be worth the money? Join me and let's go. Okay, thank you very much. Terima kasih. All right, so the bus is uh, upstairs and downstairs. How many seats are downstairs? Uh, four seats. Four seats. And yeah. upstairs? Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Yes. So that's uh, 18 seats in total. Yeah, only a few down here. But I'm sitting upstairs. Actually, I'm sitting right in the front. So I'm very excited for that actually. So I have the best view. And one tip for you guys, if you're traveling by bus or by train in Malaysia, always bring something warm to wear because usually these transportations here in Malaysia are quite cold. First impression here though is that it's totally fine. But yeah, just in case. And yeah, let's review the seat because as you can see, it's quite a luxury seat for being on a bus, I would say. So first impression, wow, it's very comfortable. It's uh, yeah, almost like a very comfy office chair. Yeah, I can uh, charge my phone here. There's a bottle of water right here. There's also uh, food included, which we will uh, get later. Oh, I can almost fall asleep here again. It's, by the way, quite early. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning. And then, yeah, let's also talk about the leg space, which is always important for tall people like me. Totally fine here. And I think... Yeah, I think it would also be fine right here, actually. So if you're not sitting at the, the first, the first seat. So I can leave my bag right here. Totally all right. I can even stretch my legs. Oh, that is quite rare for me on a bus. And yeah, the price for this ride, by the way, is 166 ringgit and I just booked it online. I will leave information where to book it online in the description. And yeah, why am I taking the bus, the six hour bus journey instead of a simple one hour flight? Maybe you remember I'm currently on a journey that started a few weeks ago in Bangkok and the goal is to reach Jakarta, Indonesia without taking a single flight. So a few weeks ago I came to Kuala Lumpur from Bangkok with a 30 hours train journey. In case you missed that video I will also link it down below. And we are starting. By the way we are quite central in Kuala Lumpur. This is the Times Square Mall right here. And it's now almost 8 in the morning and the traffic is already on. It is a Monday morning and we have these buttons here which I can use to uh, move the seat. Not sure if you can see that in the camera but the seat is moving so I can increase my leg space even if I go backwards. Let's see how far I can go. Oh this is the maximum okay so I have been set to the maximum already perfect for my leg space and then this one is probably reclining the seat. So we also have curtains right here, so in case you want to close the curtains. Ah, check out the Medeka 118 tower, the second tallest building in the world, is covered in clouds. Can't even see the top, that actually looks quite cool, right? And we're making a first break already. Oh, five minutes later and I think we're picking up some more passengers and then we're going straight, I think. Movies, audios, games, ebooks. Feels like uh, like being in a, in a plane, actually. Like if you have like long distance flights, you also have little entertainment systems like this, usually at the planes. Oh, it looks like you can actually order things. Water, blanket, service, snack and inquiry. All right, passing the toll gate right now. It's interesting, do you know that in Germany, where I'm from, we don't have tolls on our highways and every Asian country I have been to so far, always tolls, so that's always like very uh, unusual for me to see that you have to pay to use the highways in the country. But you're totally normal in Malaysia as well, in Thailand for example. Like a, like a flight attendant. 
and so a bus attendant. Then also the seats are, yeah, this actually is way more comfortable than uh, regular seats on an airplane. So I would compare this even to like a business class seat on a plane. So we have service here, we have food, drinks. I really do feel like on a flight at the moment. Alright, we are like two hours into the journey and we are making, I think, the, the one and only break during the ride. A 10 minute bathroom break or if you want to get some more food, there's a burger place here. A burger for breakfast, I'm not so sure about that. And here for me, uh, I don't know about you, but I am definitely not a morning person. Usually I need like one or two hours in the morning to uh, fully wake up. I mean, I woke up quite early today at 6 a.m. The night was shorter than usual, so I'm still like a little bit ah, not fully fully awake yet. But I think the breakfast and the, the tea that I just had uh, will definitely help me to uh, wake up. And yeah, this is what a stop along the highway in Malaysia looks like. We have a food truck there selling the burgers. There's another one over there. You can get drinks and coffee right here. Also tea tarik. And then we have bathrooms here as well. Let's have a quick look at the bathroom facilities. Hello. Good morning. Salamat pagi. Oh yeah, looks actually quite okay here. Yeah, I think for, for a stop at the highway, it's actually quite okay. Not going to film inside the bathrooms now. <laughs> but yeah, how is the journey so far? Um, I think one of the best bus experiences I ever had. So, so far, absolutely fine, I think. Even the, the full six hours will be no problem with this bus. It's very comfortable. I'm just waking up at the moment. So all good so far. Okay, and something that I didn't actually think about is uh, I need a Singapore arrival card. And also here, please be informed that the maximum waiting time at the immigration clearance is 40 minutes in peak hours and 30 minutes in non-peak hours. So yeah, we're crossing the borders. We're going into another country. So that means there needs to be immigration. So in case you need longer at immigration, any problems, then the bus will not wait longer than 40 or 30 minutes. And yeah, in order to reduce the, the time at the immigration, we are asked to uh, submit our Singapore arrival card before arriving in Singapore. And apparently you can do that online. Yeah, to be honest, I didn't think about that before. So luckily I have internet here on my phone. So let's see if it's uh, easy going. So I can scan the QR code. Okay, so this is what the website looks like. Uh, Singapore arrival card. Yeah, let me figure that out and then I will update you. All right, and I have my Singapore arrival card. It was now three minutes. They are just asking for some basic information. Where are you staying? How long you're gonna stay? Where are you from? Stuff like that. And now I have the arrival card here on my phone. And then I can probably show it later to the immigration officer. Easy going. We have rain now, we have a little bit of traffic jam and we have about one and a half hours left to the border of Singapore and then I'm guessing from the border to like the city center or the, the drop-off point will be like another 30-45 minutes I guess. Alright, something interesting. I just found out that this chair is actually a massage chair. So these buttons right here, first I thought this is like the remote control for the for the TV screen here, but it's actually the massage function. You can see here massaging vibrating uh, at the back actually oh this is actually really nice let's see what else full oh yeah oh this is nice and then auto oh this is a bit stronger now oh this is actually a surprise that i discover like after four hours into the journey <laughs> All right, we are almost at the border now and we're actually not driving through Johor Bahru. We are going to a border that is like beside the, the town of Johor Bahru. And we're actually making a second break now. So we have another gas station here, another 10 minute bathroom break. Ah, it's still raining. And I'm actually getting a little bit hungry. Uh, so let's see if I can maybe grab some small snacks right here at the gas station. Let's see what snacks are available at a Malaysian gas station. Hmm, what is this? Okay, I think I'm not too excited about the offers here. Yeah, maybe something small like this will do it. 
and I think yeah, it's maybe like one and a half hours more until arrival. Oat crunch, crackers, yeah, I would say the usual things. Maybe I'll try one of these cream roll rich melon flavor. Okay, it works now like this. This is the Malaysian custom. So we are checking out of Malaysia basically. Then we're going back to the bus and then we're driving to the border of Singapore and then basically entering Singapore. Okay, that was easy. Literally, I think the fastest checking out of a country process I ever had. No waiting line, literally 30 seconds. And now yeah, we're leaving on this side and yeah, the bus is following us and then we can enter the bus again on this side and then we're driving to the border and then stamping in into Singapore. I think the bus drivers they go through a separate process right here. Probably they have a special permission or visa to, to enter because they're probably driving this, this route every day. So the driver and also the staff on the bus is not going through this immigration process. They are just doing it right here. By the way, the staff is really, really nice on the bus. You saw the guy, the, the attendant on the bus. He's really nice. Uh, he came to me like asking if I need help with the arrival card. Or several times he comes by like asking if we need any anything else, something to drink. So the staff here, really thumbs up. Huh, and that also means I have to say goodbye to Malaysia now. Huh, I'm always happy to be back in Malaysia. This was now, I think, my fourth time in Malaysia and I'm definitely going to come back. I'm actually planning to bring my mom to Malaysia next year. She wants to come over again to Asia. She visited me earlier this year already in Thailand. Maybe you saw some of the videos. And next year it is planned that she is also visiting me in Malaysia. So Malaysia, I'll be back next year. Thank you. All right, and back on the bus. Alright, we're actually taking all our luggage with us. I guess in case we're not going to make it into Singapore, then at least we have our luggage with us. Alright, and back in the bus and we are in Singapore. And yeah, there was strictly no filming allowed inside, so I couldn't uh, film anything for you. But it was basically like any immigration that you have seen before. Also, there was like a security check, like at the airport, they scan the bags, you go through metal detector. And then what was special is, you don't even have to speak to an actual person. Everything is electronic. So I was just scanning my passport and then there's no physical stamp in your passport, everything electronic. And now I am in Singapore. I mean, the whole process here took about half an hour now, I would say. And we are, oh, now we are leaving. So about half an hour, but there was not, not a lot of people in there. So maybe if it's busier, then it will take more time. But now it was actually quite okay. And yeah, my first impressions here, it looks big, modern, clean, well organized, no chaos here. So not really this typical Southeast Asia vibe, you know. And it also really reminds me about the Kuala Lumpur city center, you know, the area around the Petronas Towers. That actually looks quite similar. But yeah, these are just some very first impressions, of course. In the next videos, we're going to explore all around the city. And now you can take pictures. <laughs> yeah. not, nothing, no problem. Nothing, no problem. <laughs> yeah, they warned me earlier to not take videos at the immigration process. And yeah, we have arrived in Singapore. Let's collect my bag. And then I have to figure out a way how to get to my hotel. Okay, thank you. Uh, siki siki. <laughs> I can speak a little bit. Okay, hands down, this was the most comfortable bus journey I ever had in my life. Way more comfortable than a regular flight would have been. Yeah, I will compare the, the seat I had to a business class seat in an airplane. And for this price, a little bit lower or the same price as a flight, but way more luxury than a regular flight. Definitely worth it in my opinion. And I am very happy to be in Singapore now. The next videos will be all exploring around the city. Feel free to subscribe to follow the journey. And if you want to see the first leg of my journey, the 30 hour train journey from Bangkok to Kuala Lumpur, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.